In this video, I will show you how to edit and work with photos and graphics in Microsoft Word. In this example, I will be using Word 2007. Let's start by changing the main graphic in this layout. Delete the photo and go to Insert, Picture, and navigate to the location on your computer where your file is saved. Click on the graphic and insert. You'll notice that you cannot move the graphic around the page. This is an easy fix. Click on the Picture Tools tab and go to Text Wrapping, select In Front of Text. You can now move the graphic freely around the page. So let's move it into place. Our photo is overlapping other graphics and text, so we want to move this to the back. Select the image and in the Picture Tools tab, click on Send to Back. Use these tools to move graphics forward and backward, one position at a time, or all the way to the front and back. Our image is clearly too big for the space. As it is a photograph, we only want to crop or scale down so we don't distort it. Scale the graphic down by clicking on a corner and moving the graphic inwards. Our photo looks like it's a good height, so let's just adjust by cropping from the right. Click on the Crop tool and use the handle bars to make the adjustments. If you have the need, you can make your photo a circle or other shape. I'll show you how to do this in Word, but if you have photo editing software, it is recommended that you use that to accomplish this. First, draw your shape. Go to the Insert tab, click on Shapes, and select your shape. I'll draw a circle. Under the Drawing Tools tab, click on Shape Fill, and select Picture. Navigate to your graphic and insert. Let's clean this up by changing the shape outline to no outline. This doesn't particularly suit our layout, so we'll just delete it. You can easily change the color of vector graphics or clip art in your layout. Let's make this logo brown. Click on the logo and go to Drawing Tools and select Shape Fill and choose your color. Also note that vector artwork can be scaled without distortion. See how large I can make this graphic without losing any of the quality. Finish editing your layout with your own colors and message and you're done.